All right, guys, we are back for the devil in me. This is a well, the newest version of the Dark Pictures anthology. We've gone from Life is Strange back to horror games now. Um, obviously, I wanted to play the Life is Strange, um, so I really enjoyed that. I've got two videos up now on YouTube and a, and two shorts. Um, I'm obviously going to be smashing them out in the next couple days so obviously if you're interested in watching life is strange true colors then go check it out but we're back with dark pictures anthology we played before life is strange we played the quarry and that turned out to be an amazing game we did so many different versions of that game um, but believe it or not, Dark Pictures Anthology aren't the same makers of that game. But it has the exact same story plot and the exact same kind of game style. Um, but they're apparently based in the same universe. So I've, you know, I've googled it, I've found that out. But anyway, we're going to get to the devil in me. So this is the user license agreement. Nine times out of ten we don't really read them. Um, because they just basically tell you, you know, I'll go through a little bit of it and then we'll get to the next bit. Um, You know, it tells you about some of the rules of the game. It can discontinue the game. Um, amendments. It can modify the agreement at any time. So we got ownership, and then obviously limited use license. Preconditions of the licenses and privacy. Tells you we will not collect any personal data through the game, which is good. So it basically just tells you the basic uh, rules to each game that I'm assuming every company has to put up. Um, you know, it's up to you if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to buy this game, if you haven't already played it and you want to go through them, feel free to. But in my opinion, it's just a very boring document. Unless obviously you want it to like take over the rights of the of the game, basically. And again, this is a privacy policy, basically just saying we won't use your privacy. Uh, data analysis policy. We'd like to collect gameplay and device information for analytics purposes that allow us to analyze and improve functionality of the game. Um, so it's just some data, um, which is fine. Now we want to choose the brightness. So we don't want to be completely in the dark. We also don't want to be completely in the light. Well, it says at the bottom left here, use the slider until the left image is invisible and the middle image is barely visible. Uh, so, it'd be like... What brightness are we looking at of the game? Would it be the middle one or the one on the right? says to make this one closest to me invisible, so you can't see it. Yeah. The one in the middle barely visible. Yeah. And then the one close to the door as bright as possible. Right, but you can't do that without doing that. Yeah, so go down. Down. You can have it to there. It makes the end one invisible, so. Yeah. And that's barely visible, isn't it? Yep, do that. 
Okie dokie. Okay, we've got an anthology mode in this one as well. Um, which obviously we won't go into. We want to play the main game first and do what we did uh, the last time round. With the quarry, obviously it's a different kind of... Um, exact same kind of game. And it would have a different storyline. But the, the format of the game is very similar. So we, uh, what we did in the quarry was we played the game, then we did the cinematic version. I don't know if the anthology is... Is it another game? No. The anthology... Is showing all the other games that we've already played. Okay, fair enough. So we played House of Ashes, we've played Little Hope, we've played Man of Maiden, so we thought we're all up to date with that. So it doesn't have a cinematic version, but obviously it's not the same company that make the game, so fair enough. Don't play alone, play alone. We're going to play this alone, so otherwise, you know, we'd have to get other people to play. So we're playing this solo. Continue. We are obviously it's locked and there's you know we haven't even started the game yet, so let's start the game. Worlds Pair Hotel. Forgiving, challenging, lethal. Gonna go for the middle one. Do apologize about that, guys. Obviously, every time I go into the save file, because the save file came up, it um, automatically goes to a blue screen, so. <clears throat> they have sown the wind and they shall reap. Missed the end of that. What? That was a rat. <laughs> what? <laughs> on the top of the electric yeah. circuit? Oh, yeah. Because the rat's going to be on top of that, isn't it? I honestly thought it was Okay then. There's a rat. The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Looks very similar, doesn't it? Apparently this section is based in 1893, but this is a prologue at that machine. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they always have a prologue in this, don't they? Are we the only ones here? I'm sure there was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Again. 
Hey, we got a skeleton behind well, the uh, well tilbit. Reassuring. Let's go with the reassuring. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. Depending on the camera. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. And the placement of these options, I might need Welcome to change it to the bottom right hand the side. Fair hotel. Please. So we'll see how it goes. Signing here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Got engaged oh, or married? A hundred. Oh, How very, very. Hey, lovely. they're married. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to see. Yes. yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Press and hold R2 to pick up objects. In that case, an upgrade is in order. The honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first... How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder. Looks like Inspector Morse. Artist. <laughs> I'm a man of many interests. Want to spec the cluder? Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Thank Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Is it Sherlock Holmes, I wonder? Mr. Holmes, Sherlock Holmes? Maybe. He's sort of speaking more like a vampire zone, but no. Let me suck your blood. I wonder if his name's Vladimir Holmes. No. What did I forget to bring? Use the right analog stick to change selection. Press and hold R2 to pick up objects. Bearing updated. Hotel guests Marie purchased the tin of powder. Alright, so we are back to our Dark Pictures Anthology um, menu, menu screen. So we got bearings, these are all the areas where you know we'll get you know decisions made by the characters we're playing as. Um, we'll have the secrets, the secrets we uncover. Um, like pretty much so like clues in um, the quarry what they call it the secrets on dark pictures anthology then we have a summary of the character we're currently playing as which is Marie and the relationship to Jeff current objective settle into the hotel 
and then any pictures we have we're uh, we're basically guided into a future image of what could happen um so it's like you know you either have a good good picture where you can predict a good outcome happening you'll find an, another uh, picture um that could cause danger i suppose and then you have another one where if you don't you know if you choose that path that you've gone on it'll uh, result in that character dying or a character that we're playing as dying on the game so that's just the uh oh oh pardon, pardon me, me man careful, careful you. you my husband, my husband gets awfully awful cross he hmm. it sounds like a ripe going how's the marriage going Lovely. Thanks, Barry. Thank you. Well, let's just head out. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry clinic? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like Wonder what's in here. Rathlin Sweet. Private. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. Might even find another skeleton in the closet. That's actually it, saying that. Like unfinished it? room. We found the skeleton in the closet. The if this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't know. Press X in time with the heartbeat. Buttons may change to triangle during keep calm events. We've got Sherlock Holmes slash Inspector Cluedo slash another Inspector. Inspector Gadget. Could be Inspector Gadget. Could be the Pink Panther. <laughs> that was a thrill. You won't think it's thrill if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Welcome, Welcome newlyweds to the honeymoon suite. Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Is this? That is not very wifely of you. Hey! <laughs> Bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. Okay. Special feature unlocked. Anything broken? Only my pride. 
How about a peace offer? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes. Face mirror, down. mirror on the wall. Aren't Who's the killest person of them all? Or killer of if them all? If I get a pillow to the face, I will suck you right in the kisser. Is there a problem? No. Bearing updated. So we've got, it's called Hotel Guest as well, I don't know if I mentioned that before. So obviously Marie purchased the tin of powder we chose from the other object. Jeff gave Marie the necklace he purchased from the jewellery counter. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Is that a camera? It is. I knew it, man. So she is struggling to open a door. It's jammed shut. Maybe if Press square repeatedly before the timer runs up. Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Alright, we're with Jeff now. Settle into the hotel, find a shaving kit. Can you go in any of these doors? We're just going to double check. Is there anything back this way? No. Okay. Thought we'd uh, just cover our tracks just in case. Lobby is to the right. Some interesting pictures of boats on the right. This is in 1890 something. So, the prologue, anyway. I don't know if the whole game is set in this era. Yeah. But what it usually does it sets in an like the last time we played, it was in the ancient times. Great timing again. The ancient times. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Um, and then obviously it went to modern day where they were archaeologists, so maybe that might be the same kind of scenario again. Yeah.
And this is based in Chicago as well. One of the hotels in Chicago. If the up cross pad is on screen, characters can equip in items they have in their inventory. Press the up cross pad to equip an item. What we're going to do guys, because most of the options are coming from the bottom left hand screen. Um, I mean you've obviously got some writing here on the bottom right hand screen. You have only made choices with your head where possible. Navigate, select, back button isn't really going to come up. So what we're going to do is just gonna, we're just going to quickly change the camera from the bottom left to bottom right it will go on a blue screen for about 30 seconds so just bear with us on that be right back so broadcast settings Alright, we're back now. A few days. So we have... Well, I haven't actually played this game on this version. Well, from the bottom right hand side in a long time. So it might take some getting used to, but at least you'll be able to see the options in the bottom left hand side now, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is that you, Dad? Jeff? Jeff? Oh, oh, are we playing another game? Relax, investigate. Mm. Relax. So I feel if we investigate... I feel if we investigate, it could... kill us. But, again, if we didn't investigate, he could still come in and kill us. But, I feel if we don't investigate the noise, he might leave us alone. So, that's the chance we've taken. So, Marie chose not to investigate the noise. This could uh, save us or kill us. Back already? You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body. I think we might have just killed her, you know. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Ow. You don't know your own strength. Easy, do you? Jeff, that hurts. Hello, my dear. <laughs> We don't want to disturb the other guests. But I really thought we'd have a little more fighting. Oh, uh, Marie didn't have anything heavy enough to hit Holmes with. Marie was drowned in the bath. So it's a tricky one sometimes, you know what I mean? It is 
because if we was to investigate it, would he have attacked us still? Or would we have been able to escape? Also, the cross pad option, it was, um, hence why I moved the camera. I must have missed it while I was reading it out instead of uh, picking up some items. So it resulted in the redying, which isn't a great start, but it is the prologue. Should be the prologue anyway. Um, but anyway, hopefully we can help, you know, either kill this Holmes guy or at least run away or defend ourselves with Marie's boyfriend or husband, should I say. Don't know what Marie's husband's name is again. Do you know what his yeah. name is? Jeff. Of course it was. Right. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. If you've touched mm -hmm. Maria, I'm a bit late with that sentiment, good sir. Is there a problem, sir? Mm -hmm. Bearing updated Jeff. Jeff ran from Holmes, leaving Marie. Jeff was killed in the gas room. Damn, man. Okay. I have a bad feeling if Marie was alive, she was able to save Jeff then as well. Because it kept switching to Marie. That's brutal. This. Special feature unlocked. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. So I say, good man, do you work here? Hello. Hello. Welcome Hello. to the World's Fair Hotel. Hey, we haven't seen this guy for a while. Trophy earned murder ca murder castle. The curator, man. Fair play, we've been through some shit with this guy. Played every single game of the Dark Pictures Anthology.
This guy's like the Gordon Ramsay of uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you would even try. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? Game is afoot. I will be watching. Of course you will, Pop. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... And, uh... And yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. But I'm not sure I'd better just deal with things, everyone. I I'm working on it. I... Hey, I'm Mark. I studied photography at UCLA. Um, had a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been at Key Group and Lighting Test for years. Be a problem. Lighter. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnick, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> Oh, I've barely begun to get on it. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deeply, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, 
was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. But as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? I'd go with the latter. What do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie. 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 My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a call for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. yes. Of course. We're in. We're in. I'll get from that. I promise. Let's do it. Right, we got a new um, bearing. Mr. Demet, I presume. Charlie received a call from Grantham Demet and accepted an invitation to his HH Holmes inspired murder castle. Obviously, we haven't got any secrets yet because we haven't really started, the, like I said, the very first scenes they always have a prologue and then they go into that prologue and make it into a whole story which i love about the dark pictures anthology and then charlie is this you know the british guy obviously i'm british so it's pretty cool that they've not only added the curator as usual but they've added an actual british guy in the game so i think that's pretty cool And then we've got all these um, words that are describing him. So we've got resolute, determined, cunning, overbearing, cynical and careless. I'm assuming these are the paths we can change or choose. Then we've got all the relationships between uh, Charlie. Current objective is wait for the limo. And it says, uh, view Charlie's relationship with Erin, Jamie, Kate and Mark. So we're going to go with Erin so far. Well, I don't think any one of them have got information yet, because obviously we've just started the game. But, uh, you know, the, the relationship with Mark at the moment is... You know, Mark seems to get on better than the rest of them. Um, I'm assuming Charlie's like the teacher. And these are the students. Kate is, you know, the least like, you know, Kate li least likes Charlie is what I'm trying to say. And then Erin and Jamie are both level. And then again, we haven't found any pictures. 
not going to say special feature unlocked each time. So that's the last time I'm saying. Right. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm coming. Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that thing right that you can't really be behind it. Oh, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. Excitement. Anyone? Whoa. Hello. Woohoo. Great. This is going to be great, guys. They're in a limo, man. Got their own little limo. Got a big little limo. That made no sense yeah, whatsoever. Exactly. Big little limo. Big limo. You know what this is reminds me of? Topeka. <laughs> exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your I'm ass. I'm assuming this is Kate. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.A. Tolman. Totally sane, sir. The dental property he inherited from the relatives, that's who had the obsession with home. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that you lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share any part of the show. Did you know about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. This place is rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. He'd be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Due to sewerage, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. Jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, come on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals would be great. We can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, mm -hmm. this is crazy. Mm -hmm. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. Okay. We're going to have a look around to see if we find anything before we get to the lighthouse. Because that's what I like to do. I like to scope the game out. Approach the wall near the collapsed steps and press X to climb. We're not going to go there just yet because we are going to scope out the area, like I said. This is taking too long.
Can we enter this? No. Nah. You taking photos now? Or? What? Taking photos of the game? Joking. Get all with it. Yeah, all right, chill, man. Just taking in the scenery. <laughs> it's saying something when an NPC tells you to get on with it. When you're scoping out the area, then looking at the scenery, getting owned by a, an NPC. Hey, hey, hey. Hurry up. Hold L wants a jog, or do we want a jog? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I know that in theory, but... Did we miss anything? Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse, explore the cliffs, to find an alternative route. That route. It doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm going to say we trusted him not, God. No, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Warning cliff erosion. These cliffs are subject to erosion and may collapse into deep water without warning. Okay. Press X to jump down excess new areas. Yeah, I know I'm not completely thick. I just want to scope the area out. Look at that view, man. Get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it, man. I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, it's the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you ever did like I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. If you're wondering what we're doing, guys, we're just looking for secrets. playing Scooby-Doo at the moment where we're looking for clues. That way maybe. Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that Maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen any trash. Must have been quite a storm. 
In memory of the victims of the Great Storm of May 1st, 1907, in which 187 lives were lost, the crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia, Cass, I might have said that wrong, Cassio, Cassiopeia? Let's look at it on the actual sign, Cassio, Cassiopeia. Yeah, I'm going to say Cassiopeia, because I've only been reading the sub uh, well, uh, not subhead in the text on the right, which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. This way. Right, let's climb up here. Press. Okay, so we want to toggle the light on. Hey, when would the ground crash like to take a couple of weeks out to us in my family? I need you in post. I really appreciate that turning out of I've got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post, man. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family? You don't bother. Oh, well. No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. Just have a look to see if we can pick anything up. I can't actually see anything at the moment. We can find. So I'm going to shoot. I'm assuming that there is no secrets in the first bit of the game. Press X to balance across rocks or fallen trees. Okay. They've added a new game mechanic in this as well. Where in the game now when you're balancing against objects and when you're moving across objects it's got like a indication where you if you balance the wrong way you basically fall off I'm assuming because like I said with this game any of these characters if you make the wrong decision they could die at any point like we did at the very start because yeah. we didn't equip the weapon or you know we didn't investigate it it led to um oh man what was their names again 
we, I know we had Jeff, and then we had the woman, Marie. Because Marie died, she wasn't able to help Jeff when um, Mr... What's his name again? Um, Mr. Sherlock. Um, Mr. Holmes, that was it, yeah. And, um... Mr. Just remind me of Sherlock Holmes. Um... But yeah, because Mr. Holmes obviously killed her in the bathtub, he was unable to be helped by his wife. Whoa, okay. What the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display. Taking the mech out of British people, man. That's probably right. Danger, keep out. Well, I think that's a bit too late now, Paul. Bit, bit of a strange place to put a mannequin, don't you think? But there you go. <laughs> Quite high up now. They're going to a lighthouse for some reason. I'm assuming it's to investigate um, the Holmes murder. Which I think they did that on purpose, you know, because Sherlock Holmes investigates yeah. murders, doesn't he? But this time around, they've. Uh, Come in. This time they've um, exactly turn it on. labeled him the killer. Crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Mm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. Find a way into the lighthouse. Okay. So we found some kind of boxed up cabin area, or building area anyway. Gonna look around the back of it first, see if there's anything around the back. No, okay. locked. Interesting. Can we go through one of the windows? Nope. What about this area here? Okay. So we try it out. So are we going to look for a key? We've to find a key obviously it doesn't give us any other option to you know try and attempt to break in there they're just rocks say that again so throw a rock through the window and climb in yeah that's what you would do normally wouldn't you but <laughs> You know, because it's a Dark Pictures anthology game, I have to find a key. Now, to be fair, I love playing anthology games. You know, there's a really interesting insight into the experience of the game. So 
Is there a way of shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse and find a way into the lighthouse? Okay, that makes sense. Because we want to shoot footage on top of the lighthouse. Inspect. Look, no. Come on. There must be another way. You sure? No. I'm up to this face. Hey, there's something here. Perfect. Fish factory to close. Exciting times. Great Lakes Post Fish Factory to close. That wasn't a clue or secret, was it? No. So it would usually come up. Did we make it? I think we did it as well. As soon as I put the remote down, it's one of those uh, Typical, like. QT tap to open the gate. Surely you can get one of them boards up. Throw that panel thing through. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with you. This looks pretty really old. Charlie can use his tie clip to open locked boxes. You'd think. <laughs> you'd think, wouldn't you? You'd think. What's that? Just some old coin. Obols can be used to unlock dioramas. Dioramas. Yeah. Yeah. The curator. Good, where's my car, man? Eh? So you haven't watched that film yet, have you? Sorry, I give you a hard time. Now and again. I really could make these shows without you. That's not true. Very good film. Driving this car. What car? A Lonnie Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars. Work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Some objects can be pushed and pulled around. Use square to grab hold of pushable objects. Use left analog stick to move pushable objects. Yeah, I know. Need a grip of it, I'm assuming. Okay.
Ah, is it this railing? There you go. I was going to say then, there's literally no, no way of being able to grip it. Right, I'm assuming we want to go through there, but I'm going to say that's going to bring us to the next scene. So we're just going to look around here. Kind of figured that would happen. But we're just going to test it out anyway. Christ, what the hell is that? Approach your hiding place. L2. Oh, you hold it. Crew members won't be spotted when hiding. Nice to meet you too. Alright, we've got a fridge with some food in it, I suppose. Hey, we've got one of these photos now. Premonition, that's what it's called. So we've got a premonition of an explosion. Let's do that premonition again. Is that a boat? our first premonition. Awesome. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of stone therapy. Stairs. Yeah, okay. Why not? Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. What in God's name is this? It moved. Huh? What? The thing. It moved. It's rock. It's uh, got batteries in it. That's what. Let's see if it does it again. No. Oh, we can't pick her up this time. It's 
We've got some kind of, I'm assuming, stuffed birds and stuffed animals. Turn the power on there. Okay. It's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on, you better get back. Got him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask him. That's good. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that... Uh... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Let's get up to the hotel. Please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things are buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Annoyed, not dressed for a hike. Of course it moves that side. Uh, the wheel's gone the other side. Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid we'll get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying? You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, Mark. get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. 
Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dimmer. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for the Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You're still some more shots, right? Obviously. Trust me. Mr. Dumas is being really destructive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without an eye. Matt is entitled to his privacy. It's KG. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops at Glendale. Seriously? Okay. Oh. You took over your ego again? We shouldn't get her up to the hotel. Oh, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, yes. sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. You taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? Better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Explore the island. something and get a straight answer you know you make a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me that works both ways fine oh, tell me the truth is there any saving this show maybe if there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here you think that's likely no at best we'll get some nice b-roll that's not gonna save our asses we found a secret Stiletto shoe. A stiletto shoe missing a heel. Is that number one clue? No way that's a tenth clue. We literally look everywhere. And I really hope that isn't the tenth clue because we have literally looked everywhere. And we couldn't see any clues anywhere. But we'll go with it for now. Haven't I just been looking like everywhere for them clues? Apparently we're on the, the tenth clue already. Unless they're going in random order, maybe. There's something shining on that board. Yeah, I know. There's something here as well. Another one of these nice. coins. This could be out there. Private property, keep out.
<laughs> Bit of a scramble. Watch your head. No point just standing around. He <laughs> uh, could have told us to dress for a trek. Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. You didn't land on your face, did you? you gotta protect that franchise. Shut up. Right, let's try again. Because <laughs> obviously, it's a new mechanic. Interest in some kind of train track. That's a miner's thing. Is it? Yeah. Is that like a miner's car, is it? Yeah, it's a basic Oh, well, yeah. Uh, mining, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looked like a train at first. Understandable, innit? To look like I think it is. Yeah. It looks like it's on a track, but yeah. Didn't realise it goes down into like 
an old mine. Amazing what I know. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> There's something shiny though. Yeah, I know it says climb. If people are wondering what I'm doing, I'm literally just looking for clues. And uh, the more clues we find throughout the game, the more the characters we play as um, know what more about the picture of it. Remember the one that you played, um, where they went on the whole boat thing and... Yeah, it was a man on me, that was uh, the Man of Maiden, that one, I think. Yeah. Well, the girl that was in the front. Do you live out here on this island? Yeah. It looked like her, the one that was in the boat. She died. Oh, shit. So, the whole commission. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on, we're about to... They didn't see us. Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. Right, say that again. That girl there in the person jumper. Right at the front, yeah. 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 Looks like the girl who drove the boat. Yeah, the um I forgot what her name was now. She does look, look like, like her, yeah. Felicity or something. Felicity, that was it, yeah. Exactly. She looks just like her. They're definitely like um yeah. Recycled the character. It's pretty cool when they do that though sometimes. Because it it brings back like nostalgic kind of vibes, you know what I mean? Now if she doesn't look like that, she won't you won't remember what she looks like, will you? Yeah, this is the way. Do you know what I mean? From previous games. Secrets around here. Need to keep looking. Got something shiny back here. Oh, Jesus! Oh. Got a dead rat. Lovely. Might be. I heard you were looking for a new place. I'm not sure I can afford to run on this one. You want me to see the natural light, right? Yeah, that's it. Bird spotting, a spotter's guide to birds of the British Isles. An in depth guides to the birds that live in and migrate to the British Isles, easily identifying birds with colour photographs. Discover where you can find each spe species and learn about their unique personalities from expert bird watchers. Once you find some feathered friends, you can make your own observations using the handy notes section provided. Be sure to look. All right. Shh. 
Be sure to look for our other publications including It's a Bird's World, Following the World's Most Sought After Birds, A Guide to Travel in the UK and Beyond in Search of the Great Birds of the World. Interesting. So can we actually look in the book? No. Okay. That's fair. Got another per premonition turned. So I'm, th I'm assuming one of the characters finds a dead body. Mediterranean Cruise 21. Secret found. Vacation photo, a photograph of Demet or Deme with a woman and child. Yeah, so these go in that's oh that's okay then. Because these go in random order. Cause you're not gonna go from number ten to number thirty one, are you? in the space of, you know, two, I'd say five minutes, <laughs> do you know what I mean, so yeah, anyway we found two secrets, we found two premonitions, so, so far we're doing okay, so I was going to say there's just no way we've been able to not find any other secrets apart from only two, do you know what I mean? So we found an, another secret. I'm kind of relieved about that. That goes in random order. So I, I was just saying before. You all right? That I really don't want to be missing what? ten clues. It was an excellence in journalism award. It was running away from you. Definitely nothing back here. Okay. So we got something watching us from afar. Maybe this is the way. If I wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Something back here again. Found another coin. Doing well with these so far. This 
reminds me of shit summer camps. Okay, if I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. Inspect. You see the control panel? It's trapped. I don't even think there's power. Get power to the control panel. Explore the island. Okay. Got a ladder going up the top of that. So can we climb it? We can indeed. Got eight of them coins now. I wonder so, what you'll get. What Some kind of premonition, I reckon. What's that thing? What thing? That metal thing. It's a container. Yeah, that's what we've just came over here on. That's the power box. You don't want to do that just yet. did just want to scope this bit out just to see if we could do anything up here didn't miss anything I don't think just double check the third, well third check alright so we go back to where we just come from Move the train car. Jamie, can you fix this?
press the left button to equip the multimeter. They've all got little perks as well, which is pretty cool. What do you mean? So with the cross pad, they've all got like, you know, the... So we had, um, right, I still haven't got the names yet. So Charlie is the British, you know, I'm assuming he's the leader, which he, well, he is, but he's like, either he's a teacher or... The older man. The older man. So he had a uh, light. Yeah. Um, is it Erin? Not Erin. Okay. Uh, Jamie was the one with the multimedia, multimedia meter or something like that. She had a meter reader anyway. got someone in hazmat here for some reason. secret found stiletto heel that's the other part of the shoe a healer from a stiletto shoe a woman got into difficulty on the island and broke her heel the heel matches the stiletto shoe that was found well, surely these match up yeah so the heel was found some distance from the broken stiletto, the wearer must have been running when it broke. And again, the heel matches the stiletto shoe that was found. I 
wonder what these are. Warning hazardous substance. Can we inspect what was on the uh, list? No harm trying. Kate can use a pencil to find out what was written on the torn paper. Invoice Covalent Exchange Covalent Exchange LLC 1670 Aug Augustine Way Thompson GA30254 Client Grantham Demay 480 E Mullet Lake Avenue, Keeler River, Michigan, because that's what MI stands for, excuse me, 47872, description, potassium hydroxide, 2.5 litre, amount 40. Need to keep looking. So Kate's got a pencil. So Kate's got a pencil. Still need to know the names. Jamie has got a thermostat meter or some kind of meter reader, and Charlie's got a match or a lighter. Right. I think we looked down here. I think we've looked at everything down here. Obviously, we found the other hill. Okay. So the shiny round one. Yeah, that's the that was the thing we seen before. Oh, does it not disappear? No. You'd think it would, wouldn't you? But it doesn't. Yeah, that was the. That's what I'm saying. It was the end of the heel. Which matched the hey. missing shoe we've seen before. Oh, oh, oh that's so much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. It found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I sit. You got it, Mr. Gumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate, what do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're going to find out what's up with sleep before we do it. Don't worry about that. So this, we've already found some information about this Mr. Oh. Demet. Someone in a hazmat costume. Yeah. And we've seen pictures of him in an abandoned buildings. Oh shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. Not gonna lie, I hate heist myself. You good? Empathic. You can do it, cheery, want a piggyback ride. Uh, empathic. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? Traits updated. Okay, we've grown a better relationship with Mark, his name is. I shouldn't have It's just water down there. You can swim. 
Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on, I'll help. That's it. Not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of heights myself, so oh, it's fine. I don't know how it feels. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. be a waste of a weekend. Private property, keep out. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? Really thought the game crashed then. <laughs> really is like Okay, this isn't a good time with it taking as long as it did. Uh, so, we've got another bearing update with Mr. Dumay, or Dumay, I, I presume. And it's not me saying that, it's that's the actual bearing name. The crew met Grantham Dumay. Kate saw a girl in the window of the hotel. I, I, I saw a little girl up there. Maybe it's the one thing. Now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Bearing updated again. Bitter rivals. Okay. Jamie teased Kate about her fame when talking about the girl they saw. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I'll, I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Everything. Cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. Adi, Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you this was a good place, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Oh, one seven eight. Busy, busy. You've been out in the ball today. And I have to stick here worrying. 
gone all day and not a word from you. Sorry. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window as we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, his staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. And you? Singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. I think I'm around the corner. 183? Yeah, I thought that. This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. Bearing updated, young love Jamie invited Erin into her room. Interesting. It's the hall, dude. And here we are. Well, it's um cozy. Disappointed like one of those capsule hotels. Playful at least we don't have to double up like last time. Playful. Mm, cozy is fun. If we had to double up like last time, we'd have my morning. You talk in your sleep. Chase updated. Dump Aaron. Not Come sure on. I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh. I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh. That's good. Okay, don't hate me. But she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Shows where you know. What is that? I'm genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out. And lecture me, and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging the shoes. Which is hard to do drunk. I'm not suggesting we get full-on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Amused, you're so clumsy. Familiar, want to share mine. Familiar. Got a stuck on my own if I want to share a look, cooties. Thanks, but I can find mine. Where'd it go? Uh. It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? No. Revenge is the job. Erin can use her inhaler to stop asthma attacks. <laughs> OK, 
concerned, just you sure you're okay. Curious since when do you have asthma? Uh, you sure you're okay? You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on any healer. I try to mind over matter it. Dust and allergies and... I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> You gonna try that? And now you're poisonous. Not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky on your tongues. A hint of citrus. Say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. <laughs> oh my god. I hate you. You are such a liar. Flirtatious, I wasn't lying about you being cute. Uh, let's go with that. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute then. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Real. Sorry. Didn't mean to make it feel weird. I, I, yeah, it's just... We work together, and Charlie is always on me about being more professional, and... I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Uh, uh. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's just... Um. Back off moving. Oh, oh, oh God, I'm um, sorry. What? No, it, it's fine. I thought you, I'm an idiot. I mean, I thought I was being a little flirty. I can't just... believe I just did that. Throws again. <laughs> Aaron dropped a chapstick below the bed. Alright, we've got quite a couple. So Jamie invited Aaron into a room. Erin dropped her chapstick be below the bed. Erin dropped her chapstick below the bed. That's what we just read. And Erin tried to kiss Jamie. And then we got another one for Breathless. Erin struggled to breathe after inhaling dust. She used her inhaler. Who is that? Sarcastic, enjoying yourself out here, angry, having fun peeping. Uh, sarcastic. Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you um, lurking? I can't find my room and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. 
surprise so we're done so talking try that one. talk more later um yeah sure if we have time after shooting maybe good luck finding your rooms Well, well, I'm looking. Oh, oh. Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. Okay. Do I look fucking stressed? Uh. That was rhetorical. Your cards came out nice, now. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. Old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock. Surely can use his business card to open locked drawers. Okay. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Instructive, be methodical, desperate, I'm assuming that is instructive. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. Blue bag, front pocket. I need a specific mental note of it. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. Let's just let's just get on with things. Frustrated. Uh, frustrated. A mental note, note isn't good enough. Details, Details matter. matter. Yes. Yeah. Got it. I will try to do better. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. It's my spec. Exactly the same. Well, it's still spec. What's weird about that? Exact same colour and everything. T. S. Hartley, the Yellow Cross. From the best selling author of Shroud of Innocence comes a thrilling reimagining of one of history's most merciless ma massacres. 
kill them all, God will resign his own, or recognize his own. July 22nd, 1209. In just one day, the peaceful city of Bezlas has been plunged into massacre. Tyrant Crusader Simon de, de Montfort is determined to purge the city of all practicing Cathars by the most horrible means necessary. Deep in the Church of St. Mary Magdalene's hidden caverns, a last remaining group of Cathar perfect has hidden away but can't hide forever. The youngest perfect is it perfecti? My apologies. The youngest perfecti, Father Escriven, has come up with a desperate plan to escape with the help of his lifelong friend, Catholic priest Muret. But in all hinges of a fine balance of bravery and faith, gripping, thrilling, history come alive, this is Hartley at its finest. At his finest, sorry. The Herald. Alright, let's have a look outside. So that's locked, obviously. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety by Professor J.P. Hunter. Professor J.P. Hunter is an author and counsellor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attacks. Within this book you will find a step-by-step -step guide designed to give you the tools you need to find a path out of the maze of anxiety. Following a unique monthly plan you will learn anxiety busting tips and tricks to incorporate into your busy daily life. Professor JP Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties and given them the confidence they 